Hmm, let's see here. It's a map of a secret hideout of some kind. Looks like the entrance is hidden behind a fridge in the east junk pile, just past the tunnel. Allie? Feeling rested yet? Mm. Cute outfit. Must have taken forever to knit. Cute outfit. Old shipping containers, neatly stacked. Old pre-collapse cars. Oh, there's some kind of switch under here. There we go. Can't get too close. That's really high voltage. I need to find someone who knows their way around electronics. That power cord seems to be connected to the metal gate. That cable leads into... I can see a small sign near the end of the cable. It says 230 volts to 240 volts. I'll write it down. Electrified gate. It's a hefty pneumatic arm. There's a sticker on the transformer it's connected to, saying, 215 volts to 240 volts. I'll write it down. Again. Hey there. Hey, do you know your way around electronics? No way! He just happened to accidentally construct a store filled with robots. Let me guess, you flunked deduction 101? <clears throat> Don't mind him. Well, great. I need you to come with me to disconnect the power to a thing. A trap. Oh, uh, I'd love to help, but I can't leave the store like this. Got an important customer today. Why don't you check with Lisa over by the museum? The woman who was fixing that broken power pole? Yeah, that's her. All right, thanks. I'm off. Take care. Bye. Hey, there's an electrified fence in the junk heap. I'd like to disconnect it. Oh, you should be able to do that from the power station just outside the entrance. Here, you can borrow this key to open the door. Great, thanks. Looks like an old hovercraft. They're live. I should turn off the power first. Uh, when I have the voltage I want, I should be able to simply turn the main breaker back on. Pneumatic door, electrified.
think that's it. Don't move. Oh, wait, you're that city cop. Fuck, I was expecting... Ugh. Today is not your day, sister. You're desperate. Is it because of the baby? I can help. Help me? How exactly? Our highly illegal womb tank is the only thing keeping her alive. And you're from the Bureau. We both know what you're gonna have to do. You seem quite sure of what I would or would not do. Perhaps things are less clear cut than you think. I'm seeing clearly. All you're doing is trying to confuse me. You're just stalling. The killer is still out there and I... I have to stop him from hurting my... our... I know how you feel. You don't have to do this alone, Katarina. We both want to catch Carl's killer. You're just telling me what you think I want here. But, I must say... I admire your ability to stay collected in the face of death. Surely you see that behaving like this is only making things worse for you and your daughter. Maybe, but it doesn't matter. As soon as I take my guard down, you'll shoot me without batting an eye. I won't. Your little family has suffered enough. If it makes you feel safer, you can keep your gun, okay? You better believe I'm keeping my gun. Okay, that's fine. We don't have to go to the station. Let's just sit down and talk about this. I must be the most stupid, naive woman in the world. You won't regret this, Katerina. So, you believe that the killer is after you now? I know he is. He got Maya and Carl. I'm next, obviously. Let's not forget Leonard Dahl. He was butchered this morning. Leonard? The, the recycling guy? Oh, Jesus, I had no idea that... That's odd. Odd how? Because... Actually, I have to give you the whole story for it to make sense. Carl and I wanted a child, but... I, I can't. I have viable eggs, but there are other complications. I can relate. Me and my partner. Well, something similar happened to us. Then you can grasp our situation better than anyone. So anyway, we came into contact with a woman called Maya Strand who claimed that she could help us have a baby. She built a replica of an old womb tank. Forbidden technology, of course. I see. And what did she want in return? Our help with some of her other shady experiments. The lady was somewhat frail. She couldn't handle much heavy labor. She eventually revealed that she was a self-proclaimed member of the Conduit. Probably figured we had too much to lose to turn her in. She was right. Yes, I found the Conduit connection. Playing with fire. Yeah, so Carl and I decided to play along until after the birth and then escape Nordsend as a family. So you merely pretended to sympathize with conduit beliefs, and then Maya was murdered. Yes, Epos did it, I'm sure. Those assholes must have found out. Epos, that rings a bell. Earth Preservation Orthodox Society, anti-tech group. You must have heard of them over at the Bureau. Used to be terrorist classified. Oh yeah, I remember. So, they have a church here in Nordsund? Yep, near the old mall in Northtown. Big place. They get visitors from all over.
So you think Epo's fanatics are picking you off one by one. Do they know about the child? Yes, I do. And I pray that they don't. That's why I'm hiding out here, to avoid leading them to the apartment. I was hoping to ambush them myself and, well, then you came around. There's a hole in this murder theory though, Leonard Dahl. Oh, yeah. No idea how that guy fits into all this. Could be unrelated. Unrelated is improbable, given the historically low murder rate of Nordsund. I guess. Maybe those Dimwood Epos assassins thought he was one of us, or he got in their way for some other reason. If all of this is true, why did you take a new name when you came to Nordsund? It's a long story, but I left a life that was pretty ugly. I had to escape an abusive boyfriend. I needed a fresh start here in Nordsund. The nickname thing just happened. It felt natural, and then, well, I guess it stuck. That doesn't explain why your relationship with Carl was kept a secret, though. Carl and I happened really fast. It wasn't so much intentionally kept a secret, it just never became a public thing. When we started collaborating with Maya, we obviously had all the more reason to keep things quiet. Hmm. Well, I'm going to give all of this some thought and report to my superior. Okay, before you go, just the womb tank. The nutrients must be running low by now. Without replenishment, she could be hurt, even die. You don't need to worry. I replaced the canister today. The baby was fine. You have no idea how much that means to me. Thank you. You're welcome. A small desk with a layer of dust on it. A bug out bag, I'm guessing. A long distance radio. High quality heater. A lightweight aluminum pot. I'm gonna head out now. Don't go too far. I won't. And thanks, Farah. You're not like most city cops I've dealt with. You're welcome. Stay alert. The killer is still out there. I'll be careful. No, I'm not. Agent Anglin, right on time. Councilwoman? Oh, stop it. That word always makes me feel old. Call me Stina. All right then, Stina. I have some things to report. Always straight to the point. You allergic to small talk, kiddo? Sorry, been a long day. I just want it to be over. Well, suck it up. I need to vent. Had an argument with a friend today. Yeah? What about? Not important, but we ended up going our separate ways. Isn't it funny how quickly things can change? I guess. History, trust, respect. Poof. Gone. I'm sorry to hear that. Hopefully you'll get back in touch one day. <laughs> Unlikely. Cranky old crones like me tend not to back down on ultimatums. So I wanted to share something else. My augmentations grew stronger this morning. The blue is starting to adapt to my psychology. Blossoming before my very eyes, are ya? Do tell. What new things can you do? My vision is improving. Excellent. Quality recon allows you to engage the bad guys on your own terms. So, how was this recent experience of yours? Quite a ride for a rookie such as yourself, am I right? I was well prepared. Didn't sleep through the whole training, you know. Oh, am I being patronizing? Forgive me. I'm getting old and bitter. Missing the days when things felt new and exciting. Now, let's hear your report. I've heard rumors about quite a grisly spectacle in the recycling center. Ebus, huh? Those guys are gonna be a pain to deal with. First, they're well-armed. 
Second, they got pull with City Hall. Our beloved mayor recently granted their church embassy status. Wait, what? So they're out of my jurisdiction? Not quite. It's one of those legal limbos. Sure, you can force your way in without breaking any laws, but they also have the right to defend themselves from unsanctioned intruders. That's absurd. In other words, they can gun me down without repercussions. I wouldn't say that. It's kind of a hassle to dispose of your still warm corpse. <sighs> like this case couldn't get any worse. <laughs> no, no. You're an agent. The creme de la creme of the Central Bureau. Time to act like one. Infiltrate and evade, remember? If you do find evidence that these nut jobs are responsible for the killings, we'll get a diplomatic warrant. All right. I have to be discreet then. Bingo. And, well, hope they don't already know who you are. That would make things awkward. Okay then. I'll get some rest and visit the church in the morning. Good plan, Agent. Dismissed. You know, the story of Katarina and Carl reminds me so much of what we went through. Yeah, similar circumstances, but vastly different outcomes. It's fascinating how just a few variables can change everything. Indeed. Are our lives nothing but a sum of interconnected parts? Does any meaning attributed to them simply stem from our limited human cognition? Most likely. The observer bias seems insurmountable. Even the concept of meaning itself is relative. It's scary to think about, that it could all be an illusion. Every relationship we had, everything we ever cared about. It really is. <sighs> this can't be healthy. Doesn't appear to be functional. feeling again. Whoa. Morning, Agent. Dr. Parrison asked me to tell you to meet him in the morgue. All right, thanks. I'll go have a look before I pay Epos a visit. <sighs> Looks like an apartment. He looks sick. Well, Leonard, it's been quite gross working with you. Hello again. I've got a present for you, Agent. Is that so? Yep, right here on this tray. If you're a fan of minced meat, I've got a bucket full of Leonard out back, too. I think I'll pass on that one. Good choice. The seasoning is subpar to say the least. You take your jokes way too far, Doctor. Now, what have you found? Well, obviously, the poor man was shredded. Fortunately for him, it happened when he was already dead. Yeah, I came to the same conclusion. Not much with the remains in this state. No signs of toxic substances, but that obviously still leaves a lot of options open. Noted. Oh, yes. I noticed a pattern on Leonard's skin. Likely a tattoo. These are all the pieces I could find. All right, I'll check them out.
Huh. Looks like Leonard had the symbol tattooed on him. My sketch of Leonard's tattoo. So this is how Leonard's tattoo turned out. Interesting. What does it mean? Your guess is as good as mine. It looks like one of those runes Maya liked to litter the town with. Oh, wait, that's her doing? Yes. As I understand it, she was a major voice on the building committee. Huh. I've been wondering where all those symbols came from. Yeah. Me, personally, I like the aesthetic. I think it gives the town a distinct look. Definitely. The tattoo doesn't look runic to me, though, but I'll keep your theory in mind. Recognize the symbol? Nope, never seen. Commissary? Yes. Do you recognize this symbol? Doesn't look familiar to me. Rolf looks busy. Ball lightning. My interpretation must have been spot on. He looks busy sitting. Oh, you're back. Sure am. What do you make of this symbol? Just looks like a stick figure to me. A, s a small R. Right. Okay. Change of venue? Yes, this is where the recital will take place later. Great acoustics. Ah, can I have a little foretaste? Very well. <clears throat> the same wind, my dear, the same wind, shook the walls of Jericho, dried your tears. No Lee to be found, no trust, nor joy. This fire you were set to guard, and I to rest by its side. Your books and notes in disarray. It all seeks to delay us while you face increasing chaos. That was great. I love the ending. You're too kind. Hi there. Greetings, and welcome to the Free Church of Epos. If you wish, you can enter our public prayer room to the right for some silent contemplation. All right, thanks. What about the rest of the church? The other areas are off limits to non-members. I have official police business, though. Special Agent England. I'm sorry, but I can't let you pass. You're gonna need papers. There's no time for that. I'm trying to solve a triple homicide. I'm sorry to hear that, ma'am, but I can assure you that there are no murderers here. I'd suggest you take this up with your superior. There's no time to mess around with paperwork. I don't need to show him. Looks like some kind of public prayer room or chapel. Looks like... I need to get out of sight first.
Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Exodus 23. Suppose it wouldn't be a church without a Bible quote or two. Sturdy looking filing cabinet. A bunch of storage boxes with initials on them. Several of the initials match people I know, but it could be a coincidence. I guess I could, but I... Yeah, that might work as a distraction for the guard outside. Some kind of large pool or... Some kind of assembly hall with plenty of people inside. A ventilation panel. Looks like a timeline of how the EPO seal has changed over the years. No way. It's the tattoo design. That must mean Leonard is a member of EPO's. Or, well, he was at some point at least. I'll get rid of the sketch now that I've identified the symbol. Got a written piece of paper. Grandmaster Otto, if you are reading this, it means that I have failed. I'm sorry, but I didn't want to involve the church unless absolutely necessary. My brother has some things for you. They will be self-explanatory. I told him to only give them up to the person who repeats the famous quote from my favorite book. I'm sure you remember. Blessings from Leonard, your most humble and loyal servant. Seems like Leonard was up to something shady. I'll have to find his brother and figure out what the quote is. All right, let's see if this works. should keep them busy for a while. Locked. Damn. Locked. Ugh, still won't budge. I don't want to shoot that. Some kind of metal workshop. The room's a dead end, so I'll avoid it. Some kind of the rooms. Not right now. The current version of the, the original EPOS logo, the second version of the EPOS logo, the third version of the EPOS logo, a ventilation panel. <clears throat> All right, it's loose now. Six new members over the last month. The Bacarbo Parish is also doing better now. They managed to resolve their financial difficulties? Oh yes, Elsa is doing great work there. Sending her on our behalf was the right call. That brings us to the subject of these horrid murders. Vile acts for certain. I pray that the church will stay clear of any blame. Why shouldn't it? We had nothing to do with those atrocities. I know that, old friend. But surely our enemies will not ignore an opportunity like this. Oh, I suppose so. Our violent past coming back to haunt us. Sadly, 
the fact that one of our people was victimized will inevitably draw eyes upon the church. Yes. Maybe it's in our best interest to invite the police as a gesture of good faith. It would certainly show them that we have nothing to hide. Very well. Let's bring the subject to a vote at the council tonight. Hmm. At the very least, it seems like the church leadership didn't sanction the murders. I'll wait a bit and see if they leave. I don't think it's safe to... Administrative paperwork. Wow, that's a lot of books. Wow. Welcome, visitor. Oh, uh... Special Agent, Violent Crimes, Central Bureau. Oh, it's you again. The man from the train. Indeed. I never forget a face, but I'm afraid I didn't catch your name. It's Agent England. Ah, I am Vilgut. I assume you are aware of our legal status. Yes, I've been informed. But tell me this. If you had nothing to hide, why would you invoke said legal status? A church needn't have things to hide to be protective of its privacy. But to prove you wrong, I'll answer any questions you might have. All right. I'll take you up on that. So Leonard Dahl, one of your members, was killed yesterday. I had a feeling your inquiry would lead us to him. Can you think of anyone who would want him dead? No. He was a loyal member of the church for many years. Kind of a loner, but always helpful and polite. He did have a strangeness to him, though. A look in his eyes like he was stuck in perpetual contemplation. It seemed as if he was constantly on the verge of but never quite able to reach some sort of profound revelation. Hmm. Any hint of a violent side to him? No. To my knowledge, Leonard never committed any violence, nor did he express any desire to do so. What do you know about the murder in the workshop hall? Not much at all. Only that a carpenter was brutally killed there in the night. What do you know about the murder in the museum? Only what my fellow church members have told me. What's your take on the conduit? Oh, those heretics? Haven't heard anything of them in many years. As far as I know, they are firmly confined to the ash heap of history by now. Some might argue with that. Your church has a violent past with them, hasn't it? There's no denying that. We fought many battles with their kind in the youth of our movement. And now? Don't be absurd. They are practically eradicated, and we have been a peaceful group for decades. What do you think about their teachings, then? Certainly dangerous doctrines if left unchecked. The Conduit believes humans will create God in their image, instead of the other way around. In their folly, they forget that humans are flawed, and that their creations will inevitably inherit those flaws. The false God they aspire to create may demand sacrifices they're not prepared for. This church, Epos, what are your teachings? At our core, we are an Orthodox Christian church. And what sets your group apart from other Christians? Two things. The reverence of the essential humanity in each and every one of us, and our stalwart opposition to false idols. Prior to the collapse, the great flood of our time, we arose as a reaction to the disgraceful habits of that era. The widespread worship of anything and everything but God. Wealth fame, mindless pleasure, the sickening mutilation of our bodies to the point where some were more machine than human, and the worst of all, the pursuit of AI superintelligences, false gods that humans aspired to construct for themselves. We oppose it all for the glory of our creator and the salvation in our future. And how do you go about preventing people from worshiping these false gods? Not by violence, if that's what you're implying. So it's just a coincidence that the only armed man I've seen in Nordson was right behind your doors? Sadly, the world is still in a state where men with guns are unnecessary evil. Do you know what kinds of books Leonard liked to read? Hmm. Uh, one book he borrowed frequently was The Kingdom of God is Within You. In fact, it still hasn't been returned. It should be among his estate. 
Would you be able to say if he had any favorite quotes from that book? No, you should ask someone who spent more time with him. Fine, I'll do that. What kind of book is it anyway? It's about nonviolence, to summarize. Got it. Thanks. Do you know who Leonard Dahl's brother is? I believe his name is Rolf. Quite a shady character, if you ask me. Oh, the gardener, right? Yes, that's him. Do you know who Katarina Berg is, the school teacher? I believe I've seen her around town with the school children, but I don't know much about her. What do you think of Commissary Anderson? He's no member of the church, but he's a fine man, blessed with strong Christian morals. I was good friends with his late father, and I'm glad to see that his son followed in his footsteps. What's your opinion on Dr. Pearson? He and I have quite different takes on life and death, to put it lightly. But alas, a man of my age needs to see a physician regularly, so I grit my teeth and endure half an hour of his morbid humor for the sake of my health. What do you know about Carl Oscarson? I must confess I didn't even know his name before I heard he was a murder victim. What do you think of Gabriel? Kurt's nephew. Well, we only met briefly a few times. What's your opinion on Stina Ruth? Cunning woman, that one. She's been a thorn in our side ever since she joined the town council. Yeah? How so? She has a penchant for political obstruction. Things like hindering our building permits or imposing unreasonable restrictions on our street preaching. Hmm. Why do you think she's been acting that way? If I had to hazard a guess, I'd say she has some kind of grudge. Some Christian out there must have greatly angered her at some point. What's your opinion on Maya Strand? She was my polar opposite in almost every way. But I enjoyed the occasional late-night chess game with her in the canteen. It's fascinating how trivial activities like board games can bring such different people together. Goes without saying that I was as shocked and appalled as anyone when I learned of what happened to her. What do you think of Walter? I don't know him well, but he seems like the kind of man who plays the part of the clown to hide a deep wound. What can you tell me about Rolf? Not my favorite person. He mocked the Lord when I first met him but I don't take kindly to that sort of behavior. That's all, for now. Understood.